Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are talking about the U.S. government because the U.S. government has some hiring problems when it comes to cybersecurity, and truthfully the whole world does, but the United States government itself has some specific challenges, and let's dive in. Now, the U.S. government is facing a quote-unquote brain drain of cybersecurity professionals, according to experts that are looking at hiring practices in the United States. Basically, we are now just encountering unprecedented cyber threats, and we have for the last uh, few years. It's been growing and growing and growing, and we've had cyber threats well before then, but they really seem to be ramping up. And so there you go. We're seeing rises in ransomware, foreign adversaries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the landscape that the U.S. government has to hire in. In the competitive cybersecurity field, the federal government has long struggled to keep up with the private sector, which also, obviously, as I just mentioned, has a very serious need for cybersecurity professionals, but typically pays higher than federal agencies. That's right. Going into the private sector in cybersecurity is much more lucrative for a person than actually working for the U.S. government. And I quote Erez Lieberman, uh, the former deputy chief of U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of New Jersey, who specialized in prosecuting cyber crimes. And I quote, we are in an absolute war on talent with respect to info, security, and cybersecurity. We've got to make sure we have the people in place to both play defense and offense. A recruiting website for security jobs funded by the U.S. Department of Commerce said that there are currently 597,767 open cybersecurity jobs nationwide. That's almost 600,000 open cybersecurity jobs. The last number I saw was 500,000. Obviously, it's getting worse. We have a need. That includes positions, though, in both public and private sector. And in the public sector, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce, there are 38,655 jobs open. They need almost 40 thousand cybersecurity professionals and that is a problem and here here is the core of the issue. Officials have found the federal government is lacking in its cybersecurity readiness. The Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs made recommendations in 2019 detailing how eight specific federal agencies could and should improve their digital defenses. Now, an updated report released in August of this year, and I talked about this previously, found that a majority of these changes have not actually been made. The report also gave federal agencies a grade on cybersecurity capabilities, only the Homeland Department of Security, or only, excuse me, only the Department of Homeland Security received a grade above C. That's crazy. The State Department and the Department of Veterans Affairs both received Ds. D is in dog. That is not good. This is the backdrop that we have. The U.S. government is trying to come up to code, but they are down 40,000 professionals. You can't have just standard people. Well, I know how to plug in a computer. It's not cybersecurity. Standard IT work is also not cybersecurity. We're trained differently. We're certified differently. There is a different standard. And on top of that, we have such a deep need here. Six hundred thousand jobs basically open in the United States alone five six million globally everybody is scrambling to keep on top of this we can't train fast enough and when we have students coming out of cybersecurity joining the cybersecurity landscape which is great we need all the students we can possibly get we're still seeing other fields in technology being staffed at a vastly greater rate universities are starting to really catch up to offering cybersecurity fields but quite frankly Everybody wants to make the next Facebook. Everybody wants to be that next developer. And so our ranks are not nearly as big as they need to be. This is why it's a it's a very serious problem. So if you're if you're listening to this or watching this and you've got a kid that's going through uh, college, I'm telling you right now, put them into cybersecurity because one, we need the help. We desperately need the help to secure you and everybody else. And two, right out of college, they're going to be making good money. Like get off of your couch, get out of your basement money in cybersecurity because the demand is there. We all have problems hiring in cybersecurity right now. Even though there are plenty of great qualified professionals, there's not enough of us to go around. It's a huge problem the world is seeing, but the U.S. government, that which defends the actual citizenry, the 330 odd million of us, is sorely, sorely lacking in cyber defense. And that spells huge trouble to the safety and the security and future longevity of the nation. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please stay private. Thanks, everyone.